Already tell glorifying ghettos where they force us to dwell. Either that or we fill up the jail. Cause ain't no truth in the land. Neither is there any knowledge of self. Let's just keep it real. I'm trying to pull you out of the dark. I, I didn't see no murder rate go up off of the chart. We pull a gun on each other, unloaded and spark. And then the police shoot us. We do nothing but mark. A- ain't no justice for family and kids. Cause most of us blind can't even see who our enemy is. They don't know what their identity is. Babylon, a great mystery. I show you where insanity lives. It's a calm before the storm, and I know this for sure. They stole sure. everything from us in their ex- That's wicked as hell. And now you got this wicked woman over there that cannot be quiet but keep talking. Whoa. When the word of God coming out. Because y'all condone this stuff right here. For real, give me that in Leviticus 5 and 1. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. If you condone, if you condone homosexuality, according to God, you are homosexual. Right. If you condone fornication, according to God, you are fornication. If you condone adultery, according to God, you are adultery. Read Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. And if a soul sin, that's why we out here out people in the midst of sin. Right. God said if a soul sin, read, and hear the voice of swearing, right. and is a witness, whether he have seen it or known of it. We see sin going on, read. If he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. If we don't utter it, if we don't show our people that sin, we burn iniquity. That's why God called us out here. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. It's time for our people to wake up in Chicago. What is that? This is how we going to keep living the next, the next five years. You think, see things getting better or worse for our people. Worse for our people. Especially right here in Chicago. A hundred people shot in one week. They had wrong with y'all. A hundred people shot in one week. But look, y'all walking around like everything hunky dory. Tell me how to wake up. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud. This is what God called us out here to do to cry aloud, read. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and shoot my people their transgressions. So God said, Show my people their transgressions. Show my people their sins. Give me that do that 22 and 5. We're going to start right here with the sister skirt. Then we're going to deal with the brothers. The reason why everything out of order because you men won't get in order. You men won't stand up, be men, and set your household in order. You used to letting the woman run everything. You used to letting the woman go out of work. You used to letting the woman pay the bills. You used to letting the woman take care of the kids. But when you go wake up, rise up and be a man and take leave. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. When I look around, I see a lot of women got on things that pertain to men. That, that, uh, and look, you might not know, you know what you got on that pertains to a man. Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. I want to ask you something, sister. What do you see the, all these sisters got on that pertains to a man? Pants. Pants pertain to a man. God, God is against cross dressing. Our women wore tight, provocative pants showing off the shapes of their body. Look at our young girls. Look at our young. So you all right with the way that young girl dressed with her stomach out and her print showing? You, you see that? Look at that. Look, that's the devil right there. She said she okay with that, though. But you know what? You burn that iniquity. Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. God said a woman should wear what pertains to a man. Pants pertain to a man. You should be showing the shape of your body. You got 11 and 12 year old girls out here wearing Gucci cutters, wearing tight pants, wearing leggings on the shape of their body. And you don't got a problem with it? When the hell y'all gonna wake up? And then you wonder why she walking in the house, 13 pregnant. Can't take care of the kids. Now you sit up and say, oh, then brought another baby in. Then you run into the welfare office to get help. Because the dad 
man around. Why? Because he's 15, 16 years old. He can't take care of baby. When we sit up here and start to dress the attire that we wear in our communities, we can stop a lot of sin. Read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. I've been seeing men walk through her in woman's garments. I've seen a man in her in a woman's bathing suit today. Let's talk about people to wake the hell up. God is against cross dressing, Reed. For all that do so. It said, for all that do so, Reed. Or an abomination. Oh, abomination. Oh, abom you want to be an abomination, sister? But guess who you be abomination? You abomination. Us and say to who? Unto the Lord thy God. Say unto the Lord thy God. Believe it or not, it's a judgment for the way that you dress. It's a, give me that real quick. You know what I want. Zip now. God will judge you for cross dressing. But our people don't understand that. God will judge you for wearing ill mighty superb. We had one woman walk up in the day, titties popped all out in front of our face. Y'all don't got no respect for yourself. We y'all gonna wake up. Read what you got. Sophonia chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass. In that day of the Lord's sacrifice. That, that day of the Lord's sacrifice. This time out when Christ come back. Read on, bro. Read, read, read. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That I will punish the princes. He said that I'm gonna punish the princes, read. And the king's children. And the king's children, read. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. God said, I'm going to punish everybody that's clothed in strange apparel. A woman wearing pants to a strange to God. A man putting on a dress is strange. Hell, at the hotel this morning, we seen a man with a dress on. But our people don't got no problem with it. That's why, give me Isaiah 3 and 9. I'm going to tell you where we at. This is the sin of Sodom out here. It's the sin of Sodom when people walk past you. Oh, it's okay. Oh, they're homosexual. Okay. Let them do what they do. Oh, he a gay man. Let him do what they do. That's the sin of Sodom. And a lot of our people, they're going to die in this sin right here. You want to know why? Because you don't order it. You don't order it. You don't say nothing about it. Read. Isaiah chapter 3, verse, two, verse 9. The soul of their countenance, the witness against them. That's another sin we've been seeing out here, homosexuality. It say the soul of their countenance witness against them. I can look at you and know you're gay. Why? Because the soul of your countenance, the way you look. Read. And they declare their sin as Sodom. Hell, you say you gay. You declare your sin as Sodom. Read. They hide it not. Hey, out there, you so-called blacks and Hispanics that got so bold, you don't even hide it no more. Yeah, you come outside with it, you want to know why? Because everybody else all right with it. Because why? You will not check people for their sin. That's why you're committed. That's why you're dying in the streets every day. That's why HIV and gonorrhea and herpes all over the place. Read. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil. God said war to their soul because they did what? For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. That's the evil that you have rewarded to yourselves. What's so good about a man running, running in your damn butt? A female uh, open her legs for another female. God created you women for a man. Right. Believe it or not. Every last one of you women out here was created for a man. Right. You were created right. for a woman. Right. And every man out here got a woman created for them. Right. But now nah, you talk about, oh, it's my God giving right to be gay. It ain't so good. Give me that in Leviticus chapter 20. For real though. Let me show you the law against homosexuality in the Bible. But you allow these sins to go on in your community. You know how you allow? Because you won't say nothing about it. You let them keep doing it. You allow your young girls to come outside dressed like this. And then when they end up pregnant, you like, oh, now y'all want to look at me all funny. You don't look at me funny. Don't get mad at me because I'm telling the truth. When you end up pregnant, can't take care of the child, and the man got you, got you by yourself, remember that the word of God was coming out, and you were looking at me crazy as hell. Because you want to dress uh, inappropriately. Because you want to dress the little man in. When a man pulling you over behind one of these buildings, behind the projects, raping you, remember we was out here getting on you for the type of tire you were. Because when a man look at you, like, oh, yeah, she's easy. When a man see you wearing the type of things that you got on, the first thing popping out here, hey, bruh, she going. Right. She easy. Right. I can right. get that. Right. Read. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Listen, this is the law of homosexuality. Everything I'm saying coming out the bow. Right. Read. Right. If a man also lie with mankind. Said, if a man lie with mankind, read. As he lay it with a woman. If a man lay down with another man, the same way he lay down with a woman, read. Both of them have committed an abomination. Y'all say.
said it's abomination. It's a filthy, nasty, disgraceful act, Reed. That's right. They shall surely be put to death. He said they shall surely be put to death. Why, Reed? The blood shall be upon them. He said that blood shall be upon them. Go right back to 1 Thessalonians 4 and 3. The most high gave us laws how to conduct ourselves as a people. You want to know why? God tried to give us a kingdom. But you didn't want your own kingdom. That's why the white man over, uh, ruling over you, you right now in the United States of America in Chicago. That's why they policing you. That's why they got that. That's why you see white police is on the horses. White police is policing you. Why? Because you don't want to do what God commanded you to do. Matter of fact, a lot of y'all love the conditions you in. You prepared to serve America the rest of your life. You better to serve this white man till you die. It is what it is. Read. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. For this is the will of God. Are we going back to the will of God? What God wants you to do. Read. Even your sanctification. What make you clean in God's eyes? What's going to make you right in God's eyes? Read. That you should abstain from fornication. God wants you to abstain from fornication. Adultery, fornication. The way our women dress, all that leads to fornication, right? That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel. God wants you to know how to possess your vessel. God wants you to love your bodies, to love your temple, read. Right? In sanctification and honor. And in honor. I'm going to tell you another sin our people in. Give me Exodus 20 verse 8. Another sin our people in, man. Talking about you love God. Talking about y'all don't love God. You talking about you know God. You don't know God neither. Right. Those are damn liars. You go to church every Sunday. I love God. I love God. Hallelujah. Thank you. You don't love God, man. Right. I'm tired of y'all lying on oh, my father. For real, read what you got. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the seventh day. Yeah, God said, remember the seventh day. Y'all breaking the damn seventh day for a damn Japanese billiken. Right. A, a damn blood billiken parade. You don't even know what the hell the billiken is. Right. Right. You breaking the seventh day for a Japanese idol. Right. Uh, give me that scripture, Jeremiah 2. Where he said, uh, y'all will change uh, 2 and 11. You will change my glory. I'm going to show you some. I'm going to show you how much you hate God out here today. Time for y'all to wake up, man. And look, a lot of you are claim to be Christian. You claim to be Christian, but the word of God coming out, you won't even step forth. We we'll ask any type of question you uh, need. You do want to hear at the bow. Come ask your question, we gonna answer it with the scriptures. Right. Read. But our people talking about you won't change. You don't want no change. What? Hey, bro, how many of y'all voted for Obama? A bummer from Chicago ain't did a damn thing for Chicago. Right. Hell, you mean talk about some damn change? Right. Y'all the third most dangerous city in America. Right. Right. Hell, right. and who you who you ain't who you a danger to? You ain't a danger to the white man. He ain't scared of you. You ain't a danger to the Chinese man. He, you a danger to your own damn self. Right. You wiping each other out. For right. real, you hate each other. Right. But you say you love God. Right. Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 11 Have a nation changed their God I say have a nation changed their God Have a nation changed their God The uh, hell The Japanese still worship the Billiken Still worship the Buddha The white man still worship Caesar Buddha The Greeks still worship, worship their Greek idols uh, uh, The East Indians still worship Krishna Have a nation changed their God No they ain't changed their we Which are yet no God. They ain't no gods. They ain't idols. We got the one true God on the planet Earth. You, God is only dealing with us. Right, right, right now, our people are being punished. Why? Right. For the iniquities. For the sin. For their sins and the sins of their forefathers. Right. Read. But my people. He said my people. God ain't talking about everybody. God got a people. Right. Mine right. is possessing. When I say this is my sign, you going to come up and try to take my sign? Right. For real. He said my people. God is possessing. He got his, He got a people. Read. But my people have changed their glory. He said, my people changed their glory. His people have changed their glory. You changed your God, Reed. For that which does not profit. For that which don't profit you for a damn billiken. What right. that, else the billiken did for you? Somebody bring luck and peace. It ain't no damn peace in Chicago. Right. Go right back to where you was at. It ain't no peace here. Hey, man, I'm telling y'all. I'm coming out here to give you to you wrong and uncut. I ain't gonna be around the bush and play with y'all. Right. Cause I'm, I'm ready to get up out of I'm ready to get up out of this captivity. That's I'm right. tired of the white man ruling over us. I'm tired of the Chinese man ruling over us. I'm tired of these nations ruling over us. When I know we stronger than them. Right. When I know we stronger than all nations on 
the planet Earth. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Uh, uh, Exodus 28. Go right back to Exodus 28. Tell about people to wake up and repent. And look, you, that, look, you, look who police these y'all. Look who police y'all. Y'all got the white man policing you in your community. Right. Yeah. Why? Because your sins. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. God said, remember the Sabbath day. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Lord's Sabbath day. Read. Right. To keep it holy. God said to keep it holy. How do you keep the Sabbath day holy? Read out. Six days shall thou labor. And do God gave you six days to do labor. But look at our people out here laboring now. They working on the Lord's Sabbath day. Selling hot dogs. Selling funnel cakes. Selling chips. Dancing in the street for a damn parade. Second their ass in the streets. I had to horn our young women out for a parade. That's what it is. Believe it, it's called hoarder. Read. And do all thy work. But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord thy God. God said the seventh day is my Sabbath. Give me that. That's uh, Exodus 31 and 30. About this uh, uh, perpetual covenant. Read. Exodus chapter 31, verse 16. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath. God said the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you the children of Israel. That's right. God said you're supposed to keep the Sabbath for what? To observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. He said throughout your generation. Is we still generate? Is we still generate? Yes, we still generation. Generate. So you're supposed to keep God's Sabbath, read. For a perpetual covenant. It's a perpetual covenant, a continual agreement that we made with God, read. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. So you want to know why you separated from your God? Because you won't come back to the covenant you made with your God. Right. He said this is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. So how do we keep the Sabbath holy? First, no, God, no working. Well, give me that in Nehemiah 13, verse 10. I'm going to show you another thing we are supposed to do on the Sabbath that our people out here are doing right now. But you claim the love of God. You say you're a Christian. You say you're a devout Christian. Hell, you say you Holy Ghost feel. Got no Holy Ghost on you. You never had the Holy Ghost on you in your life. Right. You, can even got, you even got the nerve to say that you saved. Saved from what? You saved from what? You got the church got dipped in water. Come out of there. You got saved from being drowned by your damn Christian pastor. That's what you got saved from. Right. For real, he would have held you another 30 seconds, you'd be dead. Right. Read. That's right. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 15. In those days. So he said, look in those days, read. So I, Judah, saw him trading wine presses on the Sabbath. So he said, I see people working on the Sabbath day. That's what we see right now. We see Israelites working on the Sabbath day with no fear of God before their eyes, read. And bringing in seeds and letting asses, as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens. So he said, he said people bringing in all manner of burdens on the Lord's Sabbath, read. Which they brought unto Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I testify against them. Oh, look, that's what we're doing out here. The same thing the prophets were doing. He said, I testified against them in what? In the day where, wherein they sold victual. In the day that they sold victuals, read. There dwelt men of Tyre. Stop right there. So he said, look, that was selling on the Sabbath day. He testified against them. So look, what's one reason? What's one way to keep the Sabbath day open? No working. No buying, no selling, no cooking on it. Give me that in Exodus uh, 35 3. Yeah. Exodus, now give me Hosea 4 and 1. Give me, give me Hosea 4 and 1. Matter of fact, Hosea 4 and 1. See, that's the problem with our people hatred. Give me Leviticus. Not that Leviticus 19 and 17. Bring it out. Every year, every year, I want to fight, want to shoot, and want to kill each other. Every year. Read what you got. Leviticus uh, 19 and 17. Yeah, hook me up, bro. Appreciate it. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. The problem with our people in Chicago is hate. You hate one another. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. If you hate your brother, give me that in 1 John 3 and 15. Y'all hate each other. Every year you fight. Every year you argue over some stuff. Look at that. And look. Cut that out. Look. See? Look at that right there. That's what you got. Leviticus 19 and 13. Read what you got. 17. Read. 
Genesis 30. The man think I want Genesis 18, not verse 19. Need to learn how to lead. We leaders, man. We leaders and pillars in our community. For real, though. We put our women in order. Read what you got. Genesis. That's why the black woman always get the black man killed. Why? Her damn mouth. That's right. Read. Genesis chapter 18, verse 19. For I know him. God said, I know him. Talking about Abraham. I know him, Read. That he will command his children. God said, I know Abraham. Why? Because he going to command his children. And who else, Read. And his household after him. Hold on. Let's get Matthew 7 and 1. Now here you got it. Here you got another devout Christian. A Holy Ghost filled now over there. Matthew 7 and 1. We're going to get Matthew 7 and 1. You don't know the scriptures. You don't know the scriptures. Matthew 7 and 1. You want it. We got it. Read. Matthew chapter 7 verse 1. Okay, devout Christian. This your God right here. Hold this up. This your damn God. Your God protecting you right now. Look at him. He's protecting you from your own kids. Read. Judge not that you be judged. So hold on, this is what they want, Matthew 71. Judge not that you be the what read that again? Judge not, judge not, read. That ye be not judged. That you be not judged. Now, see, I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with you, devout Christians. You open up the Bible, you read the one scripture, but don't keep reading, read. For what what for with what judgment you judge? The scripture say, for with what judgment you judge, read, ye shall be judged. It shall be what? You shall be judged. Read. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you. Eh? Now read on, read, listen. And why behold it? Now, it say now, why behold it, read? Thy, the mote that is in thy brothers, the mote that is in thy brothers, I read. But consider it not, the, but consider not what? The beam that is in thy own. So now this is what God said. Why behold the sin that your brother in and not consider the sin that you in? Now what? Grab a Bible and show me my sin then. Now look, let's read on. Let's finish that up. Read. Or how? Cursing ain't no sin. Making up some damn stuff. Read. Or how? Judging is not a sin. Now listen to this. Read. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother? He said, how you gonna say to your brother? Read. Let me pull out the moat out of thy own. Let me cleanse you from sin. Read. And behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Well, guess what? You in sin. How you gonna, how you gonna say to your brother, let me sit up here and cleanse, cleanse you of sin when you in sin. Read. Thy hypocrite. He said thy hypocrite first do what? First do what? First cast out the beam out of thy own. He said first cast out of the sin from you. Cast out of the beam from your own eye. Read. And then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Then you shall see clearly to cast the sin out of your brother's eye. That's what God talking about. First, you don't, you can't be in sin trying to judge somebody for their sin. If I'm a fornicator, I can't judge you for fornicator. If I'm a adulterer, I can't say I judge you for being a adulterer. If I'm cross dressing, I can't judge you for cross dressing. Right. Now give me that in some Rock 45 26. They don't even know what they talking about when they read a scripture. For real, talking about what ain't of God. This damn Bob Billiken Ray Parade ain't of a bar of God. Trying to make money off your people ain't of God. You talking about on his seventh day. So that's what he talking about, judge, let you not be judged. I can't judge you for sin if I'm in sin. To talking about, read this. Ecclesiasticus, chapter, chapter 45, verse 26. God give you wisdom. It say God give you wisdom. God gave you his commandments to do what? In your heart to judge his people. God gave us the commandments to judge his people. Read that one more time. Read. God gave you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. God gave you wisdom to judge his people. So don't be talking about no judge. Let you not be judged because you don't know what you're talking about. If I'm, if I'm in the midst of fornication, I can't judge you for fornication. That's a lie. Go to 1 Corinthians 62. That's just a damn lie. That's a lie, bro. That's a lie. That's a lie. And see, you, you are not one of the men that's a problem with this community. Because you sit up here, you sit up here and you speak things that you don't know. Grab a Bible and show me in the Bible. Where your Bible at now, dear? You ain't got a Bible. We walk around, we walk around with these all day. This is our way of life. We. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2. Do you not know? It say, do you not know that who? This is this what Paul taught. This is what Jesus Christ taught Paul. Do you not know what? That the saints. Do you not know that the saints shall do what? Shall judge the world. It said that the saints shall judge the world. What you talking about? So Jesus Christ ain't the only person can judge. Give me that in Deuteronomy 
1 and 16. Bring it up. Deuteronomy 1 and 16. Y'all don't know no scriptures, man. I would even not be trying to argue with a dude that's sitting up here calling scripture for scripture for scripture on the street. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 16. And I charge your judge. God said I charge what? Your judge. You know what? This is what made me just think about some. Y'all said that you can't be judged, but it is and, and judge in the Bible called judges. So the whole book is the call between your brethren and do what? Judge righteously. God said judge righteously among your brother. So how do you judge righteously among your people? Do not be 6 and 25. Yeah, just when they do that, they just put the court. Do not be 6 and 25. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness. And I said, it shall be our righteousness, read. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God. So that's how we judge our people according to the commandments of God, man. Look, I'm going to tell you something. These people come out here the same way. They, give me Nehemiah 9, verse 26. The same way y'all did the prophets is the same way y'all doing us. We come out here to testify to against our people, to get our people to repent, but y'all come up here and come after us. When them little girls was out here fighting, y'all didn't try to stop that. Y'all didn't try to say they were doing nothing but wrong. Right. But we read the Bible out here. Now we wrong. Right. Read what you got. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient. God said our people disobedient. When the prophets came, when Nehemiah came to get our people to stop uh, buying and selling on the Sabbath day, they were disobedient. Read. And rebelled against thee. And they rebelled against God. Look at that. That's all we know how to do is pop and shake. That's it. Pop and shake. That's it. Read. And cast thy law behind their back. God said you cast the law behind your back. Because what about the law about buying and selling on the Sabbath? But you're going to open up the Bible and read a scripture. What about the law about wearing pants? But you're going to open up the Bible and read a scripture. That's what God was saying. Look, you can't judge me till you cast the beam out your own eye. You got a log in your eye. For real, though, read on. And slew the prophet. God said they'll kill us if they can. Man, some of y'all out here today, you'll kill us if you could. Read. Which testified against. That's what all the prophets did. All the prophets testified against Israel when they was in the midst of iniquity. That's why, guess what? When something happened to you, do not call on God. Do not call on God because why? You don't love God. You don't care about God. God ain't in your thoughts. It's all about, give me that in Proverbs 3 and 5 real quick. Proverbs 3 and 5. God ain't in your thoughts. You don't love God. We come out here every year to teach our people to keep God's commandments and repent. But yeah, yeah, y'all come out here every year to buy and sell to your people on the Lord's holy day. They ain't got the damn nerve to read the scripture. That's why I say first cast out the beam out of your own eye. How the hell you gonna break the Sabbath? Then say I'm in sin and I'm keeping the Sabbath holy. Right. How the hell you ain't gonna work free? You don't got on fringes, right. but I got on fringes and you gonna sit up here and say, I'm judge. You can't judge me and you in the midst of wickedness. What the right. hell you talking? I ain't find my sin. But you can't do it though. You can't find my sin. Up. But I can show everybody out here right now the sin you in the midst of. Right. Here go my Bible. I'm welcome for you to come show me my sin. And I have no problem repenting. You want to know why? Give me first John 5 3. Hold it. I'm going to show you why I don't got no problem repenting if you show me my sin. Show me what I'm doing wrong according to the commandments. Read what you got. First John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of God. I mean, this is the love of God right here. Because a lot of y'all say you love God. You a liar. Right. Read? Right. That we keep his commandments. You know why I repent? Because I love God. Right. So if you if I'm breaking God's commandment, here you go. Grab the Bible and come show me. If any one of these brothers out here breaking God's command, come and show us and I promise you we're going to repent. That's you want right. to know why? Read that again. For this is the love of God. Now, this is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. His commandments ain't hard to do. Give me that in John 14 and 15. So if you see us in iniquity, we don't got no problem with repent because we love God. Right. You the ones that don't want to repent. That's why a lot of our people gonna die right here in their sin, man. Right. You're gonna die right here in your sin. Read. John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, hear that. Christ said, if you love me, do what? Keep 
my commandments. So how in the hell you gonna open up a script in the Bible and try to judge me and you ain't pulled out the beam out of your own eye? Right. The hell? You wear pants. That's abomination to God. Right. That means you're a filthy disgrace to God if you wear pants. Read. If you, you got on no fringes, that means you don't love God. You breaking this Sabbath, that means you don't love God. You cooking pork and all types of unclean food, that means you don't love God. Read. If you love me, but he said, if you love me, read, keep my commandments. He said, keep my commandments, read. And I will pray the Father. He said, then I pray the Father. This is how you get the Holy Spirit, too. Talking about two Holy Ghost filled, two a lie, read. And he shall give you another comfort. Then God will put the Spirit on you and put the Holy Spirit on you. Jump down to 22, read. 22. 21. He that have my commandments. He said, he that have my commandments and what? And keep it them and keep it them and keep it them. You gotta keep God's commandments. Read. He it is that loveth me. That's who love him. We don't got no problem repenting. We in the midst of iniquity. Time for y'all to wake up. That's hate. Go right back to where you was at Leviticus 19 and 17. These little girls beating the hell out of each other, but you wanna sit up here and come against the man with the Bible. The hell? We get people off drugs. We help our people in need. Right. Yeah, you may read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. God said, don't hate your brother in your heart. Whenever you speak against the prophets, that's hate. Right. If you speak against the man that got this Bible, that's hate. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. God said, if your neighbor going off, rebuke him. Read. And not Suffer sin upon him. We don't want none of our people to be in sin out here. That's why we coming out here showing you your sin. That's why we trying to get you to repent. Because guess what? Destruction coming to this place. Let me repeat. Destruction is coming to this place. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. God said don't avenge or bear any grudge against the children of your people. But do what? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. God said, but love your neighbor as yourself. You don't love your neighbor as yourself. Because y'all, you'll do something about the things that's going on in your community. Right. But turn out the face, though. Turn your eye. Turn your eyes. Don't see what's going on in the community. Don't see the drug dealer across the street selling crack in the neighborhood, right. killing people. Right. Don't see that. Don't see the uh, rapists walking around your community. Yeah. Don't see the game bankers, the drug dealers, and the robbers and killers walking around your community. You don't see none of that. For real, though. You turn a blind eye to that, though. But guess what? The men that got the Bible, though, now you think you want to correct something. Correct the problems that's in your neighborhoods first. For real, though. Chicago, 100 people got shot in Chicago within one week. That's y'all problem right there. You better pray and hope that you ain't the next one. That's right. That's why we out here trying to wake our people up. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. We're trying to wake our people up so you don't be the next one. Lord's willing we can get that game. Lord's willing we can get a game banker to repent. For real though. And we don't hate our people. We love our people. We don't hate our people. We love our people. We've been coming out here every year doing this. For real though. And y'all ain't going to stop it. And we're going to continue to come until God stop us. Read what you got. Until Christ returns. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 1 Hear the word of the Lord Ye children of Israel Now you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans You are the Israelites the Bible speaks of God said hear the word of the Lord Read For the Lord have a controversy With the inhabitants of the land The most I said he got a problem with the people in Chicago He got a problem with the men in Chicago He got a problem with the women And the kids in Chicago Read Because there is no truth. He said, there's no truth. I asked any black man out here, what is truth? If I asked any black man who they are, they probably give me something that the white man told. He says, no truth and what else? No mercy. No mercy. What's it, did you just see mercy right here when that fight broke out? It wasn't no mercy. It's no truth, no mercy or what? No knowledge of God in the land. No knowledge of God in the land. Our people don't know God. Cause I'm telling you, if you knew God, give me for hold it. I'm coming back there. First John two and three. If you knew God, let's show you what it means to know God. God say he got a problem with y'all in Chicago. Our little girls walking around in the most provocative stuff. Y'all don't give a damn. For real though, these are our future mothers, our kids being raised up. For real though, 
They're looking at our young men, our young men dressed all in feminine. They dye their hair all different type of colors. These are supposed to be our future leaders of our community. But y'all don't care though. That's why the next generation is gonna be worse than this generation. For real, read what you got. First John, chapter two, verse three. And hereby we do know that we know him. This is how we know that we know God, read. If we keep his command, we know God if we keep it. You can say you know God if you keep his commandments. That's it. Read. He that said, I know him. If you say you know God, read. And keep it not, his commandments is a liar. If you say you know God and you don't keep his commandments, you a liar. Read. And the truth is not in him. And it ain't no truth in you. Go right back to where you was at. God said it ain't no truth for knowledge of mercy in the land. This show no mercy right here as the word of God was coming out. Rebuke them right here. Don't hate your brother. Don't do it. Did it anyway. Read. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing. And God name of your sins. Swearing, lying, killing and stealing. Read. And committing adultery. Laying down with another brother's wife. Sleeping with another sister's husband. Read. They break out and blood touches blood. That's why so much black on black crime in our community. Say so y'all break out wow. All your sins break out and blood touch blood. Black on black crime. That's why the murder rate so high in our community. Time for y'all to wake up and repent. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.